Once upon a time in the projects. smashing light bulbs you kids are the reason i don't sweep up broken glass what are you doing inside on a beautiful hot muggy summer day anyway we got nothing to do well when i was a boy we had plenty to do ain't there any albino kids you and your friends can go pick on or don't we do that anymore all of our friends went to camp why ain't you with them the black to nature fund said we weren't underprivileged enough what not under not underprivileged enough you live in this rundown fire trap there ain't no heat no water why it's classic neglect we gonna go down to the Black to Nature Fund and teach them about taking care of kids. Hey, you in there. I demand attention. The registration for Special Olympics is to the right. What the... Do I look like an athlete to you? I am the superintendent of the Hilton Jacobs Project, and I demand to know why these boys can't go to your camp. All participating children were sponsored by their own communities. Now, if you want to, you can raise the money and send these boys yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. And while we're at it, we could just uh, give them some hugs and kisses and encouragement, too, right? Help build up the self-esteem. I like a hug. Shut your pie hole, stupid. I'm trying to help you. Please, can't we do something for these kids? Look how sad they are. I'll have you know, sir, I'm calling the authorities. Finally. Now, we're getting somewhere. So after an all-night discussion with the uh, social service director and Detective Kevin Flagg, whom thankfully I went to high school with, I'm urging my community to help send these boys to camp. <laughs> now, now, look, I've decided that a courtyard carnival is the best way to raise money. A carnival? Oh, what a wonderful idea. Yeah, yeah, now we're going to need some booths and the suggestions. I got a show off our moneymaker. Well, come on with it. Keep your eye on the queen and not in between. Don't get lost in my rhyme or you lose every time! <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's great. Now, does anyone have any ideas that are not insane? Ooh, ooh, I got one! Or illegal. Oh. I can be a gypsy fortune teller. Or you can all get cancer. All right, one gypsy fortune teller. And I'll be the clown making children laugh as I am in life. Now that's the spirit. Help send us kids to camp! Guess the fat man's weight! One dollar! Uh, fifteen hundred pounds. Now, come on, that, that, that's cold! Nobody weighs that much! A thousand? Hiya! Come see the hideous freak of nature! Not me! In there! Shouldn't you be holding a pencil or something? I will, as soon as my arms stop doing this. Welcome to Mr. Stubbs' Wild Ride! Keep your hands and feet inside the drum at all times! And away we go! So, Muriel, how'd we do? Well, let's see. Provided we settle out of court all claims against Mr. Stubbs' wild ride, then I'd say, you boys are going to camp! Yay! All right, you heard it, boys. Now you meet me here, right here, with all your gear. Let's check the bus schedule. Give me. All right, 6 a.m. a week ago. A week ago? Uh, oh, my, he's right. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have held that carnival over for an extra week, kids. My bad. I'm sorry, boys. But look on the bright side, with a South story like this, you'll be a shoe in for next year's camp. Next year. <laughs> I've heard that before. Very good. Isn't there anything you can do? Come on, Juicy. We might as well go to the library and read some books. Library? 
You know what you're going to be doing if you go to the library? You're going to be giving up. Now, where would I be right now if I ran to a book every time I faced a problem? I wouldn't be a super in the projects, I'll tell you that much. You know what? You know what? I'm going to take y'all camping myself. You mean it? You're really going to take us camping? You bet, because if there's one thing I know, is God helps those who, uh, um, God, uh, God will help those. Mira, what is it that God helps? Those who help themselves. You're damn right. And you won't find that in no book. Hmm. We all packed our good. You remember my medication? This is your medication. You got your blood pressure medicine, your nitro, your insulin, your milk of magnesia, your calpectate. Well, where's my contact, my contracts, and my Xantex, and my reflux? In your backpack with your X-Lax. Tic-tac. Fanny pack. Give the dog a bone. This old man is leaving home. <laughs> Up, two, three, four. We're going camping. Move it out. Okay, troop. Make camp. What? In, In the, the courtyard? courtyard? That's right. Welcome to the great outdoors. You said we were going to the wilderness. You said we were going to rough it. This is outdoors at night in the project. You can't get no rougher than that. Oh. <sighs> see that? Courtyard camping ain't so bad. Well, it ain't nature. How are we gonna see the stars? Most days we can't even see the sun. Yeah, you promised us adventure. Now, now, you can't have any wilderness adventure without Indian scout names. I want to be Big Chief Redskin. Me stop them, pale face. Hey, Calvin, you got to respect the dignity of our Native American brothers by choosing an authentic Indian name. Authentic. I'll be Chief Grand Cherokee fully loaded. I'll be Little Big Horny. Can I be Pocahontas? If you must, boy. Now, to make your final knot, hold one end of the rope with your left hand and loop the right end over three times. Now, pull tight. Like this, Mr. Paquette? Perfect. Ah, uh, you know, I think you have a career ahead of you in the exciting world of law enforcement and or terrorism. See him struggle? It just got tighter, didn't it? Walter, untie that boy, please. Super, you promised us adventure. We wanted to go hiking and see animals and go fishing. Well, fine, let's go fishing. You can't go fishing in the projects. Uh, that's where you're wrong. Boys, grab your poles and let's go to the fishing hole. Uh -oh. Go, 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 go. Well, here we are at the old fishing hole. Aren't we having a good time? Oh, man, there ain't no fish down there. All right, now, now, maybe if you just drop your lines in, you'll find something. Right, Jimmy? Hey, it's a fish hole, ain't it? Hey, I think I got something. Fish sticks? You bet. I think if you throw your line in that cove over there, you'll find a nice school of tater tots. Oh, man. This is whack. See, I told y'all camping would be fun. This ain't camping. This is homelessness. Yeah. If we gotta be cold, damp, and hungry, we might as well be in our apartments. Hey, hey, come on now. Wait, don't go inside yet, boys. There's still plenty more outdoor adventure to be had. Like what? Well, uh, we could try to, uh, find a bird. Mm. Well, fine, go inside. But night falls here, and that's the only time that Red Moly comes out. Who's Red Moly? Oh, no, not Red Moly. They ain't old enough for Red Moly. We're old enough? Who's Red Moly? If you're too girly to handle camping, you cannot handle a ghost story as scary as Red Moly. Oh! No, they're good. They'll be their pants. We won't be our pants. Will we, Juicy? Mm. <laughs> Jimmy, throw another tire on the fire. Oh, this fire is making me sleepy. Don't ever fall asleep by a tire fire, boy. You'll never wake up. Okay, the campfire's burned down to the steel building. Time for s'mores. Mm. No, 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 don't roast the whole bag. No, no, don't put the melted plastic in your mouth. Oh! <laughs> Juicy skins like a girl. 
You want to know? Since you're with Chelsea all the time. You take that back. Calvin and Chelsea sitting in the tree. Shut up. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. See what you did? Now, now, Calvin being in love is nothing to be ashamed of. Took me 23 years of marriage to learn that. I'm not in love with her. Everybody falls in love sometime, little bro. Mr. Sanchez here has a crush on his voice therapist. Shut up! Sanchez and voice therapist sitting in, in a tree. tree. See what you did? Now can we hear about Red Moly? Not until we have us a good old-fashioned campsite sing-along. Walter, would you like to lead us off? The girl is pretty wild now. The girl's a super freak. I'd really like to taste... Walter! Uh, kumbaya, my lord, uh, uh, kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord, uh, uh, kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord, uh, uh, kumbaya. Oh, Lord, kumbaya. Have no gift to bring kumbaya. You promised to tell us about Red Moly. Are you sure you can handle that story? You know, Red Moly is a very scary man. Oh, like Coach Kellerbrook? No, oh, he's a dangerous madman who lures little kids into his basement. Oh, like Coach Bryce? No, no, no. This man is the bastard son of a hundred maniacs. Very good. I told you about my childhood in complete confidence. Not you, Walter. It was on a night like this. Did some scary projects just like this when Red Moly killed the camper repeatedly. So they locked him up. Where? Juvie or one of them punk boot camps? I hear the food's way better at Juvie. Uh, this ain't working. Uh, I think it's time for Red Moly to make a special appearance. Walter, embellish. Red Moly was the meanest, most evilest maniac anyone ever saw. How did Red Moly get his name? From his mother. Mom's Moly. Oh. And it was on a night like this, when the moon was full, that Red Moly would pounce. That Red Moly would jump out of the bushes and scare children. That Red Moly would stop taking a leak and hit his cue. What? Ah! <laughs> you can stop screaming now. No, I can't. I'm caught in my zipper. <laughs> oh. Three at last. <laughs> did you see that Calvin run? Did, did you see that juicy jiggle? Yeah. Can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they when they come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, you can come on back now. We're just funning. <laughs> yeah. Come on back, boys. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh! Oh! Ramoli! Oh. Josie! Josie, come back! No! I'm gonna run! And run! And you look here! Run! No more! Okay, I'm done. Josie, listen to me. Didn't Red Molly look an awful lot like Super? Yeah! He was hideous! And what did he smell like? More liquor and funk. It was the Super! That's right! First he takes us on his stupid camping trip, then he scares the s'mores out of us. I say we go back there and scare him. Well, Red Moly's back there. So are Graham Crackers. Rachel. Do you think something could have happened to those boys? Well, I hope not. But it's not like the Earth's gonna open up and swallow them whole. <laughs> Son of a... Where are we? Let's see. I was gonna share them. Now they're done to worry about. This is a perfectly safe neighborhood. <laughs> My baby! Shut up! You know, I think we ought to go look around for him. You know, maybe ask around a little bit. Drag the lake! Sanchez, I ain't giving up on those boys yet. I'm an optimist. So you consider the boys half dead. I see the boys as half alive. Now let's move out. Come on, boys! Fun is fun, but it's time to come back to camp! Look, they're good. An open manhole. You know what that means? Yeah, it means the boys could fall in. <laughs> there. 
prevented one disaster at least. Okay, why don't we split up into teams? I'll go with Sanchez. He needs a brother to go with him in this neighborhood. But, but he ain't black. Just let him go. Great. Juicy, that box was sitting in sewer water. Do you bod? I'm eating. Juicy, throw those out. Oh, all right. Oh, Ross! What are they doing so far from the project? Maybe they lost too. They tried to find their way home. Hey, I bet they'll take us right back to Hilton Jacobs. I don't think they'll support our way. We're not going to ride them, stupid. Stupid is a very hurtful word. Come on, Juicy. Let's go. <laughs> I'm really worried, Walter. What do we never find those boys? I tell you, I can kiss Super the Year goodbye, that's for sure. The police will help. I don't trust no police stations. Brothers check in, but they don't check out. Now calm down, Thurgood. The police have been our friends since 1991. You, you let me handle this. May I help you? We took some boys on a make-believe camping trip, and uh, we, we may have killed them. Walter, no! No, that's not what happened, officer. What's wrong with you, Walter? Look, we like to report some missing kids. That's it, the missing kids. Yeah, that sounds better. When's the last time you saw them? We last saw them running down the street after Red Moly scared the urine out of them. Who's Red Moly? Oh, he's a serial killer. Oh, well, actually, he's me. <laughs> you're a serial killer? No, 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 no. Red Moly's a serial killer. And you're Red Moly? Yes. Uh... What's that over there? <laughs> Could you put us out, please? <laughs> Things will kill you. Ah, there's no proven link between cigarettes and death. Calvin, I hope we don't die down here. I've never even kissed a girl. Look at me. I'm ten, and I don't even have any kids. Yeah, but... Juicy, don't worry. The rats know where they're going. I thought you said rats were smart. They are. See? They're running from that giant ball of burning sewer gas. Why are we running from that giant ball of burning sewer gas? Calvert? a very bad hangover. Smokey? Welcome to my Fortress of Squalitude, or as we like to call it, the happiest place on Earth. But, but where are my manners? Uh, Babs, Deshaun? Take our guest bags to their rooms. We don't have any bags. No, that's okay, we don't have any rooms. So, what uh, brings you to Crack Willa? We were camping. Yeah, it was supposed to be an adventure, and it turned out to be nothing. Really? What happened? Well, all we did was get chased by a monster, fall into a sewer with a million rats, escape a giant fireball, and discover a subterranean civilization of mysterious sewer people. Hmm. Mm. Maybe it's the crack residue clouding my head, but wasn't that an adventure? Hey, you're right. We did have an adventure. A great adventure! You know, Smokey, everyone thinks you're crazy. But you're really pretty smart. Why, well, thank you, Mrs. Roosevelt. And, uh, may I add, you never looked lovelier. Uh, I think it's time to go. Say no more. This secret tunnel will lead you directly to the one you call Super. It comes up right behind Super's VCR. Won't you come with us? Alas, I cannot. For in your world, I am an outcast. But here... I am a king, and this is my kingdom. And uh, 
That's the gross national product. Let's face it, we're just gonna have to ask the tenants for help. Okay, uh, let's work on our alibis. Now, I find the simplest explanation is the best. The fat kid ate the skinny one. Case closed. That's crazy. I'm not gonna tell that ridiculous story. So the 30 ninjas had us surrounded. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them jumped in front of me in a real mean stance. And Muriel, I said, ninja, please. Ninja, please, indeed. Very good. What is this nonsense? And where are the boys? All right, all right. If you must know, I'll tell you the truth. The fat kid ate the skinny kid. Case closed. Hi, everybody. Praise God, he's bulimic. Where have you boys been? Now, Muriel, it's not important where the boys have been or who almost snuffed out their all too brief lives. Yeah, what's important is that Super promised us a great adventure, and that's what we got. Exactly. I knew camping would build their self-esteem. Yeah, like when we fell down the sewer and the fireball almost... Pie-ho, pie-ho. Well, I'm just glad all my boys are home, safe and sound. Huh. Where are the two others? What was with you? Ah! We're never gonna find our way out of here. I need a smoke.